weren't expecting that were you? Now, before we get into the quick five drills for you to do at home, we have the understanding of our mind, but to help start us get the fundamentals, it's all about our feet. And yes, my beautiful feet okay. and these drills will help make sure that you are set up for success when we get on the field. And the first fundamental tip that you have to do is be able to kick a ball. And the very simple motion of just using your inside foot and kicking the ball is the biggest thing to get comfortable with. So this drill can be done at home, can be done outside, wherever it may be. And the biggest thing you just need to do is find a wall or a friend to help pass you the ball back. This drill primarily is used when you're kicking a ball against a wall to help make sure that you, when you kick a ball, it comes back to you and when you receive it. Very important for you to get, to get comfortable kicking the ball with your inside foot, but also when it comes back to you while receiving it. Drill number two. Now that you have a good idea about how to kick a ball, the next portion we're gonna talk about is how to move with the ball. And when I say move, I mean dribble. Dribble is typically about how you either walk or run with the ball during the game. So this means either moving the ball with your inside foot or moving with your outside foot. Now, as especially as an outfield player, this is very important to develop because whether it be running, jogging, or walking, being able to master the skills you see what Messi does can help set you apart from the competition. One easy way that you can do this at home is setting up a little circuit, whether it be setting two objects up in front of you and simply going around the circuit with the specific foot. This meaning going around the circuit with only touching the ball with your inside foot, and then otherwise going around the other circuit with your outside of your foot. This helps develop your, your feel and control with both your inside and outside of your foot. Drill number three, and this one is mainly a popular one, but it's very crucial to master because of how many times this comes up in the game. And that is keepy ups. Now keepy ups is simply as it means by keeping the ball up with your feet. Oh God, now, so the more good. you can do this, the longer you keep the ball up, the more control and comfortability you get with the ball. Many times in the game, the ball will go up in the air and as gravity always does, it brings the ball back down. And being able to have the ability to touch the ball down and control it can help set you apart from the competition. It's nothing more deflating when a ball comes to you in the air and you try and take a touch and you bobble it and it goes 10 yards past you. Mind you, not every time you'll be able to control the ball, but this is also a very good thing you easily do at home and it's a good challenge to do every day, just like as you, as you do with push-ups. So let me know uh, your keepy up record if you've already done this type of exercise down below in the comments because I'd be interested to hear your personal record. Drill number four, and this is also very important like the other three, and that is focusing on here, your first touch. Your first touch is primarily when you receive a ball, whether it be from a pass, cross, etc. Now, the best thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the same variation of the first drill, which is easier using a wall, a friend. When doing this drill, it is very important that you focus on the touch, and we're gonna focus on having the ball switched over to your opposite foot. This can help you in transition when receiving a pass because in some circumstances, you can't use the same foot when receiving the ball. Having that ability to transition the touch to your other foot can help out open a lot of space for you in the game. Drill number five. If you already done all the four mentioned drills before, this drill is a very good complimentary thing you can do. Now at home, you can already set up zones or little targets to set up to when passing a ball. Passing is a very essential part of the game because we all aren't messy. We can't go through the whole team and score goals. You have to be able to have the ability to link up with your teammates. So setting cones or even little targets up to pass the ball to with your strong and weak foot can be a very crucial way for you to help get comfortable with passing the ball. I'm a goalkeeper, but take it from me, your teammates will thank you for being able to have accurate passes. But that is the conclusion for today's video. I hope that these five simple drills that you can do at home can help you get more comfortable with your feet so that you can take your skills to on the pitch. If there are any tips or tricks that you would like me to highlight on this channel, please leave a comment below because I am more than happy to highlight those tips in other videos. Please remember to like and subscribe to the Observer Football channel and we'll see you in other videos.